Hello, everybody. Richard Strang from the UK. There's been a lot of hype in the last sort of week about China after their president announced that the China, you know, he recommended the Chinese people embrace blockchain, cryptocurrencies. And then we've had um, the vice chairman of the China Center for International Economic Exchanges. He said the country will launch the first ever blockchain based central digital currency, which is actually huge for the market. Obviously, he's mentioned about Libra, it does seem to be stalled at the moment. Um, so, the fact that the Chinese government now is going to embrace blockchain, and after the president announced that, it caused the market, I don't think there was any other reason, to be honest, it, it boosted up 40 billion, and a lot of the Chinese coins rocketed in price. Phytum, 75% against Bitcoin, Ontology, 40%, NEO, 35%. Absolutely huge. The, um, Huge um, news for everyone, really. Uh, and then this week, we've also had the latest, the Chinese latest rankings for the top crypto blockchain projects out there. They've done it last year, and it caused a big wave. And it, it's part of the Chinese government. It's the Center for Information Industry Development (CCID), and it publishes these crypto project rankings. The CCID is a scientific research institute directly under China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. Um, when you scroll down the top 10, EOS is number one again, was last year. Ethereum, so if I go through 2018 list quick, um, Ethereum was number two. Now you can see it's number three. Uh, GX Chain was number three last year and has just don't know where <laughs> it's just dropped off the charts to be honest so not sure what's gone on there komodo was number four last year it's now number 18 ontology this was a massive surprise because most people know ontology is one of my favorites it was number five now it's number 14 Knowles, which i'm going to talk about was number six last year now it's number four so that's a huge climb for Knowles. nebulas was number seven now it's number 12 BitShares has gone up from 8 to number 5. Um, NEO has stayed at number 9. And Steam has actually gone up from 10 to number 6. So this is huge for any project within the Chinese you know, information technology team to announce that you are this good and basic tech, applicability, creativity, proactiveness and everything. This is basically the ones, and to see like Bitcoin is actually number 11 according to the Chinese. You know, and that is huge for these coins and um you know this basically china regulates everything doesn't it we know that internet tv technology even regulates it cryptocurrency you still can't trade cryptos in china but again after what the president said i think we've now got over the main hurdle with china they're going to embrace the blockchain the cryptos so to me the fact that the coins rocket the other day shows got longevity and who knows what the price will be with these certain coins so, again, I just want to quickly say, everything in this video, it's my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence. I want to tell you to go and rush and buy these coins. It's merely my personal opinion. So, EOS number one, again, it just shows that obviously they probably one of the best out there. Um, so, if you go on Ontology, it's, to sum up Ontology, it's... It's a public platform that basically was developed to remove barriers between blockchain and the public sector. Um, Ontology is a part of the NEO ecosystem. Whenever NEO pumps, Ontology always follows. Um, it's a network of blockchains. Main Ontology is a public, other chains private for enterprise. Ontology, Ontology describes itself as a provider of high-performance blockchain, which includes distributed ledger and smart contract systems. Um, if you go on the, if quick, um, give you a quick, see all the exchanges it's on, it's on many, many exchanges. Um, the all time high, $10 back in May 2018. So look at those massive amount of exchanges, all the big ones. Anyway, so it's 82 cents at the moment, it's number 25 in the charts. So again, my personal opinion, not financial advice, I strongly believe ontology within 18 months will be $100. That's my personal opinion, that's why I'm always buying ontology. And I, I really believe in this project. Um, if you go on Ontology website, ont.io, you can see what Ontology actually is. We've got Onto Wallet. We go to the back, but 
you go to the bottom, it really sort of sees how big Ontology is. 565,000 wallet addresses, 2 million community contributors, 60 plus dApps, 57 nodes, 200 plus core team members. That's why Ontology is big. In my opinion, it'll be around for a long while. Um, another one is Byton. Now, to be honest, Byton was the one that was rocking price the most this week after that big news from China. I've never held, held Byton before. I've looked into it. It's been around a long while. Um, it's been around since early 2017, so it's nearly three years. And its all-time high was only $1.17, or nearly 11 cents now. So it's never had a huge price like many other cryptos. Um, the fact it's now 51 in the charts, and again, I'll be on their website. So to sum up, BTM, Byton, the blockchain was launched to develop a protocol that could uh, tokenize assets, really, from a physical world to a digital world. I looked in depth into Byton, and again, it's got a huge team behind it, huge community. It uses, Byton is basically a uses proof of work protocol that designed to enable customized contracts specifically designed for area of asset management. It's, from what I can read, um, it's got three main uses of Byton, is the transaction fees, the dividends, and asset insurance deposits. Will it be the next Ant shares, which eventually become NEO, but will it be that one that's going to rock in price? I don't know. It's got a lot of um, circular and supply. It's over a billion, so we're going to need a lot of volume, a lot of market cap to get a huge cough. But I think it'll be around long term. Um, you go on their website, bytom.io. I, I went through the whole site, a lot of plans, a lot of roadmap, a lot of developing going on. But I did like the fact that they do a weekly report on what's happening in Byton. That was good to me. Um, here on the link, you can see, like, October 25th, the Byton CEO, Lang Yu, was invited to attend Amazon AWS Cloud Meetup, how to enable fast development of the blockchain industry. So very proactive. They're out there. They're developing. So... Um, I've heard of Byton for, I've heard of it for a long while, but I've never actually bought any. But this week when it rocketed in price, I thought I've got to get into Byton. It's obviously had a bit of a pullback now. But again, it's one I'm going to hold long term. And next one we had was Nebulas. Um, again, I've never held it before, heard of it, but I've never done it again. It's had a, it's had a good week. Um, what I like about it, it's another Chinese based coin mainly, but it's I read up on Nebulas and it's like a how to describe it, it's like an incentive based um self evolving blockchain system of decentralized platform which provides search framework for all blockchains. It's production for DApps. Uh, Nebulas was founded by a guy called Hitis Hugh, who worked for Google and it, at the time when blockchain was first coming out, he was known as China's first blockchain pioneer, and he worked with a guy called Robin Zong, and he was he's well known in China as a blockchain expert. Nebulas has got many benefits: liquidity, frequency scale of transactions, pro uh, propagation, depth of asset, liquidity, interoperability, DApp smart contracts. And April this year, they brought out Nova, blockchain network with native on-chain incentives. So, um, if you go. Again, the all-time high, which we always talk about. Again, massive growth from September 24th. Um, now within a, a now we October the 31st, it's gone up to 56 cents. So it's grown up well, even in this sort of fairly bear market. Its all-time high was $16.64. Again, the January 2018 high at the bull run. So I believe in this project. I'm going to get some. I know I probably own far too many coins, but I do like these ones, which to me. My personal opinion at rock bottom price at the moment, and they're only going to grow. So it's another one to perhaps keep on your radar. I like it. I like their website. Very good. Scroll through it. Sacked all the plans. Their roadmap. They say the Nova Mainnet 2019. The Mainnet decentralization is actually out. It's actually just been launched. So they've got plans. They're still on their roadmap. They're still developing. Huge team again. So it's worth looking into it now. A quick note on Knowles. Obviously, China's ranked it higher this year than it was last year. It's now up to number four. So this is one you really need to keep on your radar. Um, it's actually not based in China. It's actually based in Singapore. And the basics of Knowles, I've had Knowles for ages, is um, to describe it. It's just basically like an open source, community-driven public blockchain and platform. Smart contracts, again, multi-chain system, cross-chain consensus. Um, 
you watch, there's a lot of videos out there on Knowles, and the owners are very good at going on YouTube, discussing their future plans. Again, surprise, surprise, all time high was January 2018, $8.54. It was another coin which had such rapid growth from end of October to basically the beginning of January. So two and a half months, nine cents to $8.54. And now China ranks it higher than it did last year. So I hold Knowles, I've had it for a long time, and I probably will look to hold more Knowles, to be honest, because it's obviously going to have longevity. Now, quick, just going to quickly go through some other coins, which obviously Neo, Neo's been around for ages, Neo 3.0 is coming out. Um, this was one where return on investment was like 5,000%, if I remember, 5,602%. Quick chat about Neo. It was two cents at the ICO stage, which was Ant shares. When it came Neo, if you bought a thousand dollars in January 2017, by January 2018, it was worth four hundred thousand dollars. That was the growth of Neo. So obviously, it was one hundred ninety-six dollars was the all-time high at January 2018. Um, at the moment, it's at ten dollars. It's been up and down. Next bull run, I'm sure it rocket in price. You know, I've held Neo for a long time. I've actually got rid of a lot of my Neo. Could be a mistake, who knows? Um, Qtum's another one, another massive Chinese coin. I've held it for a while. Just ones again, keep on your radar. All time high again, January 2018 was $100 nearly, and now we're at $2. The latest Qtum 3.0 has just been launched. So again, another one which is still building. So another one really to keep your eye on is Qtum and GX Chain. Now that's weird with GX Chain that it's just gone off the Chinese rankings. Uh, it's a. It's, um, it's a decentralized data marketplace and it serves hundreds of Chinese enterprises. So I'll have to look deeper into that, why it's gone off, to be honest, why it's gone off the market. It's weird. Again, all time high, as I keep repeating myself, January 2018, all the all time highs it's seen was $10 nearly and it's now 48 cents. So it's only a quick video. Do your own due diligence. Let me know other coins I don't know about. As it says on coin market cap, there's 3,048. There's probably some real gems out there I don't know. I've always been really interested in Chinese coins because I believe it's such a huge market. Um, I did a video the other week about Tao Wavy. Uh, it's going to be 300 Chinese cities. It's going to be huge, I'm sure about that. Um, and then I talked about Nervos, which is a new one coming out, which has massive investment. So do your own due diligence, guys. Let's chat below. Message me through my social media contacts down below. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. Bye.